Hey there y'all, welcome back to Homie Collectibles channel and this is a video review about the Godzilla Minus One film that came out this month and all I gotta say is that this movie is really good. It's a movie I wasn't expecting myself to be as good as with the trailers and the, you know, merchandise and all that this movie is what we should have got for the sequel for the Godzilla 2014 film it's a movie that takes itself seriously it's grounded in reality it's got great effects it's got a great Godzilla design it's got a, you know it's it's what we should have gotten as the sequel to Godzilla 2014 and um yeah, this movie's doing really well because it has a really good um, story. It's got a good cast of characters, like characters that are believable and real. And it's something that I wasn't expecting because a lot of, especially Hollywood, is just making a bunch of garbage movies that have just characters that are not grounded in reality, don't have good story oversaturated with CGI but this movie um, takes itself seriously and treats its characters well and does Godzilla right unlike what the MonsterVerse is doing in my opinion the Godzilla in this movie has a really good purpose in terror stress tension like the presence you feel the presence of Godzilla in this movie before he um, you know actually shows up everyone's all worried about it Godzilla and you know you s the um, destruction that he causes he causes destruction for no reason to the characters and the whole and the whole Japan as a whole Godzilla shows up in this movie out of nowhere. Um, spoiler alert, we see Godzilla before he gets nuked, and it's pretty scary. It's a lot like a T-Rex with giant spikes, a massive T-Rex. It was a homage to the Godzilla source from Godzilla vs. Um, King Ghidorah 1991, and in this movie, you can definitely see some inspiration from the from the other Godzilla movies. Godzilla, um, the original one, of course. Godzilla versus King Ghidorah, you know, 1991 with Godzilla Saurus. You have GMK, when Godzilla blows his atomic breath, it creates a mushroom cloud just like that. And the fact that Godzilla is pure, just destruction and mayhem for no reason um yeah it's it's honestly what it's what we should have got it does have a godzilla 2014 vibe as well they don't show godzilla as much as you think in this film and that was a complaint a lot of people had with the godzilla 2014 film oh they didn't show him enough they didn't show him enough here either but people like this movie you know it's because this movie is um, has really good characters now. The characters in Godzilla Minus One are they they develop them pretty well, and that's why you care about the characters because the director knows how to. The director of this movie knew how to make you care about the characters. Now I don't know much about the director. I'm not like a film fanatic or whatever. I just I like movies, but. Um, yeah, just like in Godzilla 2014 where, you know, Godzilla has a presence. Before Godzilla, you know, shows up in Hawaii, you see the carnage that he unintentionally causes. Because Godzilla is not evil in Godzilla 2014, but still, there is a presence. Realism. And the atomic breath wasn't overused. That's the one thing I loved about Godzilla 2014 was they didn't overuse that atomic breath. There was a build-up to it. One of my favorite scenes movie scenes of all time is Godzilla's atomic breath reveal in 2014 
And then in 2019, they just oversaturated, they overkilled it with the Atomic Breath with, to the fact that I got sick of seeing Godzilla's Atomic Breath because they just did a way too much, just like how they overused the CGI and the blue effect like and then they changed Godzilla design in King of the Monster it was terrible I never liked that change the spines the foot it was disgusting and a disgrace to the original Godzilla 2014 film now what it has to do with this is that this does the same thing with Godzilla 2014 they show Godzilla sparingly but they did it well um, there's a lot of similarities with this movie with a lot of other movies besides Godzilla and Jurassic Park. Jaws especially. We see more of Godzilla in the water than we do in land in this movie because it has a lot of Jaws um, inspiration to it. There's a lot of inspiration with Jaws in this film. Um, yeah, just it was a movie I wasn't expecting to be pretty good, but um, I was watching this movie with um, some other people I knew, one of them said that this movie, you know, when asked them, you know, what'd you think about this movie? She said Godzilla was pretty scary. And that's something we don't see a lot in, you know, Godzilla movies is making him terrified. And, um, yeah, one of the, like the, so like I was saying with the atomic breath before, I think that they overused it a lot in King of the Monsters and, you know, um, the monster verse where I got sick of it, but here the atomic breath scene was just done and executed well. It was a build up. They built up to it, as you can see right now. Um, it's not like they overused it, they used it sparingly, but it had an impact. Um, whenever Godzilla shoots his atomic breath, it creates a giant mushroom cloud, and it's basically a bomb dropped, and then. The wind carries everything away. We see the uh, main characters. One of them sacrifices herself for him, for him to live. And it turns out she is alive at the end. But, you know, she has um, been hospitalized and all that. But, yeah, the acting was pretty good. I don't know much about the actors here. But overall, as someone who just... Yeah, I've heard stuff about how good this movie was so it got me interested i wasn't really interested in seeing this movie honestly because i just movies in general were kind of in a shit show i just honestly didn't care but i hope toho continues to make movies like this um and now that you know i've seen the trailer for godzilla x kong i'm kind of less excited about that because i know it's going to be just a cgi fest nonsense characters i just hope that godzilla x con they put some effort into it they put some effort into the effects or the characters a little bit because this movie i hope does so well that it wakes up hollywood because this is the kind of movies we don't get anymore i'm just i mean it's it there are some things about this movie godzilla minus one it's not perfect like honestly the beginning godzilla shows up in this movie less than four minutes as the movie starts and i think they kind of it kind of just felt for me it felt rushed i think it should have been a slow a little slow build up um with the main character landing on um odo island i think is it and then godzilla just shows up he just shows up and kills a bunch of uh these technicians for his plane um yeah th there's this great there's a pretty good the main character i Sorry, I don't know his name, but he's really good. His character is really good. But, yeah, overall, I mean, it's, I'm, we're almost reaching 10 minutes. Out of 10, I give this movie a um, an 8. It's a good movie. It's a good movie, and it just came out of nowhere. And, you know, this and Shin... You know, this does have a comparison with Shin, but I like this movie way better than Shin Godzilla. I did not like Shin Godzilla. It was... I hated the evolving Godzilla shit. And then he has, like, things coming out of his tail at the end. It just... I it, The Godzilla in that design is great, but overall, I did not like it at all. But this... See, if, if you put Godzilla in 1998 and put it in this movie, people would 
eat that design up. They would want an SH Monster Arts, a Bandai Movie Monster Series. It's about, it's not about how good or bad the design is. It's how you use that design. If you use that design right, like Godzilla Minus One, Godzilla 2014, then people like the movie and the design. But if you use that design pretty bad, um, people won't like it. But overall, you know, I hope that's my opinion. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check out my merch in the link below. Let me know what you think about this movie and um, your favorite scene and all that jazz. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.